For today's five minute makeup tutorial, we're gonna create this super easy smoky eye. You might've seen the full in-depth lesson, but I like to upload shorter five minute tutorials just as a refresher or for anybody who's limited on time. This look is my super speedy sultry smoky eye. Try saying that 10 times fast. This look takes two minutes per eye, but I'm gonna slow it down and show you each step in a little bit more detail. It's super easy and fun, so let's get started. Now, as always, whenever we create an eye makeup look, we like to start off with a good base. For dry lids like me, I like to just use a mattifying concealer to create a smooth base and give the eyeshadow something to hold on to. But for oily lids, you do want to use an eyeshadow primer. This will help create a barrier between your skin and the eye makeup to stop the oils from breaking down the shadow. And to speed up the process, I would recommend using a lightly damp sponge for a very even layer. The first brush that you're going to need is a fluffy brush. This is the E26 by Blank Canvas Cosmetics and you need this brush, it is essential. Now the way that we hold this brush is going to be a little bit different. We want full control, so we're going to hold it in the bunny position. The bunny position is two fingers on top, pinched between the thumb, ring, and pinky. And I call it the bunny because we have two fingers on top, kind of like bunny ears. So holding this brush, you want to apply an eyeshadow that's at least one shade lighter than your skin tone, and this should be matte. You can even use your face powder as long as it's brightening. And what you want to do is focus on the crease line, blending all the way upwards towards the brows and right underneath the eyebrows. This will help speed up our blending process later and make it easier. You just want to avoid the lid because we want that primer or that base that we've applied to really grab hold of the eyeshadows. Now I want you to put that fluffy brush down for a minute and pick up a pencil brush. This is the E23 by Blank Canvas Cosmetics. I like to hold this like I'm holding a pen. So one finger on top, holding in the middle of the handle because this will give us enough control for this step. We're going to apply a dark eyeshadow. So as dark as you wanna go. Rest your pinky on your cheek. And I like to start in the middle. What we're doing is this pushing and gliding motion, almost stamping the eyeshadow on. You're basically coating from the inner to the outer edge of the lash line. Now, the more sheer the layers you're applying, the deeper this will look in the long term. Or you can apply it twice, so once now and once after the next step. But you should end up with something that looks like this. Now put down the pencil brush and pick up the fluffy brush again and this time we're going to be holding it like a pen instead of the bunny position because we don't need too much pressure. And we're going to be applying an eyeshadow that's at least one shade darker than your skin tone so think of your bronzer or your contour as long as they're matte. Now aim for above the lash line line that we already created just above that area and sweep this over and across the lid. Just focus on the lid for now. If you feel like you need to, you can sweep down into that darker eyeshadow, just don't overblend. Now focus on the lid as you blend, making sure you're looking down in the mirror so you can see the shape that you're creating. Check to make sure that we don't have any harsh lines, but also don't overblend either. Keep some darkness right at that lash line, and you should end up with something that looks like this. Now take a little bit more of that mid-tone and sweep this above the lid. So starting in the crease, blending upwards and fading out. A little trick is to bring your hand slightly higher so it's almost at eye level, and that way you're sweeping across. But remember, as you're blending, you still want to leave a small little gap underneath the eyebrows because we still want to have some brightness there to create a lifted eyebrow look. Now, if you need to, reapply a little bit of that darker eyeshadow, but only if you need to. It might be as dark as you need it to be, it's totally up to you. Now, if you notice a little bit of fallout on your lashes, a little trick that I like to do is take a liner that matches my mascara and just coat the little fallout bits. Now you can do this with mascara by really coating the lashes, but it actually takes a lot longer. It's so much easier just to dip in with a little bit of liner and just coat the little dots that might've dropped. Now take that pencil brush again and use whatever's left over on it to sweep this underneath the lashes, right underneath the lashes for that smoky finish. I like to press down on the brush to create a 90 degree angle so I can just go straight across, but I know that some people kind of struggle with that. So what I would recommend doing is bringing your hand nice and high, making sure that the tip of that pencil brush is hitting right underneath the lashes and try looking upwards so you can see what you're doing. And what you're doing is sweeping from the center out and in, working right underneath the lashes. Then finish off with mascara. And I like to tap the mascara 
right on top of the lower lashes, so I'm not pulling it downwards. So what this is gonna do is create some depth instead of length. So we're not pulling the eyes down, we're just creating that smoky effect right at the lashes. And there you go, a sultry smoky eye that you can do in two minutes with a little bit of practice. It's about two minutes per eye, and I like to just aim for like five minutes overall, just to give yourself that extra minute, just for any little issues, like if your brush just rolls away from you. Let me know if you wanna see a quick face makeup look as well. And if you try this out, let me know if over time you get a little bit faster and faster as you go. I'd love to hear what your timing is for this. And maybe we can do like a fun little speed run challenge. But I will see you guys in the next one. Be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and I'll see you soon. Bye!